Hello, welcome to Canal Academy for Modern Stoic. In today's video, we will delve into the life and legacy of René Descartes, a central figure in the history of philosophy who, like the Stoics, sought a deeper understanding of truth and reality. Firstly, I ask that if you like to explore and learn more and more about the life and work of great global thinkers such as René Descartes, consider subscribing to our channel now to follow the countless videos already posted. René Descartes, born on March 31, 1596, in La Haye in Turin, France, is widely considered the father of modern philosophy. His tireless search for a secure foundation for knowledge and his methodical approach to doubt and reason revolutionized philosophical and scientific thought. Descartes was a staunch rationalist, believing that reason was the path to truth, a view that echoes Stoic teachings on the importance of reason and self-knowledge. Descartes lived in a time of great intellectual and scientific turmoil. The 17th century was a period marked by enormous scientific advances, but also by profound uncertainties and debates. Europe was in the midst of the scientific revolution, a movement that transformed the way people understood the natural world. At the same time, the old authorities of the church and tradition began to be questioned, creating an environment of skepticism and the search for new certainties. In this context, Descartes emerged as a figure who sought to reconcile the new science with philosophy. He proposed a method of systematic doubt, known as methodical doubt, where he questioned everything that could be doubted, until he found an indubitable truth. This is how he arrived at his famous cogito, ergo sum, I think, therefore I am, in a statement that he considered a certain and immutable starting point for all knowledge. Descartes' influence extended far beyond philosophy. He made significant contributions to mathematics, introducing analytical geometry, and to science, with his investigations in optics and physics. His insistence on clarity and logical deduction profoundly influenced the development of the scientific method, shaping the future of modern science. Like the Stoics, Descartes valued clarity of thought and self-discipline. The Stoics believed that reason and virtue were the paths to a fulfilling life, a perspective that Descartes shared in his quest for true knowledge. Seneca, one of the great Stoic philosophers, said, education requires the greatest care because it influences the whole of life. Descartes embodied this vision, dedicating his life to the search for a solid basis for knowledge and encouraging humanity to question, investigate, and understand the world in a rational way. In this video, we will explore not only Descartes' ideas and contributions, but also how his principles resonate with Stoic teachings. We will see how his life and work continue to inspire our search for truth, mental clarity, and self-knowledge. Get ready for a fascinating journey through the mind of one of the greatest philosophers of all time and discover how Descartes' ideas can guide us in the search for a more rational and balanced life. The Search for a Secure Foundation for Knowledge René Descartes lived in a time of great change and uncertainty. The advancement of science and growing doubts about ancient religious and philosophical authorities created an environment of skepticism. People began to question what they could really know for sure. In this context, Descartes embarked on a personal and philosophical search for a secure foundation for knowledge. He wanted to find a solid and indubitable foundation on which to build the entire edifice of human knowledge. To achieve this secure basis, Descartes developed what he called methodical doubt. This method involved doubting everything that could be doubted until you found something that was absolutely certain. He decided that if he could find an indubitable truth, he could use it as a starting point to reconstruct all knowledge. This rigorous and systematic approach is similar to the Stoic practice of examining our beliefs and values, discarding those that do not stand up to the scrutiny of reason. Descartes began by questioning everything. His sensory perceptions, mathematical truths, and even the existence of the external world. He realized he could doubt everything except one thing, the fact that he was doubting. And if he was doubting, then he must have been thinking. And if he was thinking, then he must exist. This is how he came to the famous conclusion, cogito, ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. This insight became the sure foundation Descartes was looking for, the first indubitable truth he could trust. From this safe point, Descartes began to reconstruct knowledge. He argued that reason, not the senses, should be the basis for true knowledge. Reason, according to Descartes, 
was the tool that allowed us to achieve the clarity and distinction necessary to understand the truth. He believed that by applying reason rigorously and methodically, we could avoid the errors and illusions that often deceive us. The importance of reason and clarity in the construction of knowledge is a central theme in both Cartesian rationalism and Stoicism. The Stoics, such as Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, taught that reason is the key to living a virtuous and balanced life. Epictetus said, Reason is not only for use in philosophical things, but also in all actions of life. Descartes applied this same trust in reason to his philosophical method, believing that only through the rigorous use of reason could we achieve universal and immutable truths. By seeking a secure foundation for knowledge, Descartes not only transformed philosophy but also profoundly influenced modern science. His insistence on clarity and logical deduction established new norms for scientific and philosophical thought. Just as the Stoics sought to live in accordance with nature and reason, Descartes sought to construct knowledge that was clear, distinct, and safe. His search for truth, guided by reason, continues to inspire philosophers, scientists, and all those who seek to understand the world in a deeper and clearer way. Cartesian Rationalism René Descartes is known as one of the founders of rationalism, a philosophical approach that emphasizes the primacy of reason in obtaining knowledge. For Descartes, reason was the only reliable tool for understanding truth and reality, distinguishing it from sensory perception, which he considered susceptible to errors and illusions. Cartesian rationalism is built on three fundamental principles. The primacy of reason, logical deduction, and the search for universal and immutable truths. The primacy of reason. For Descartes, reason was the primary and safest source of knowledge. He believed that the human mind, by applying reason in a methodical way, could reach certain and clear truths. This focus on reason reflects a stoic belief that reason is the essence of human nature and the key to the virtuous life. Marcus Aurelius, one of the great stoic philosophers, wrote, The soul harmonizes with true reason, adapts to circumstances, and is satisfied with what is given to it, because it considers what destiny gives it as perfect. The Logical Deduction the second principle of Cartesian rationalism is logical deduction. Descartes argued that, from clear and indubitable principles, we could deduce other truths with absolute certainty. He used the deductive method to build systems of knowledge, where each new truth is logically based on previous truths. This method resembles the stoic approach of using logic to examine and validate our beliefs and actions. The Stoics emphasized the use of logic to live in accordance with nature and achieve eudaimonia, or well-being. The Search for Universal and Immutable Truths Descartes sought truths that were universal and immutable, believing that true knowledge should be independent of temporal and spatial circumstances. He wanted to find principles that were true in all situations, reflecting the Stoic view that virtue and truth are constant and do not depend on external circumstances. Seneca, for example, argued that virtue is the only guarantee of a good life, regardless of external conditions. The Critique of Authority and Tradition An essential part of Cartesian rationalism is the critique of authority and tradition. Descartes believed that to reach the truth, it was necessary to question accepted beliefs and traditional teachings that did not withstand rational examination. He rejected the idea of accepting something as true simply because it was held by authority or because it had always been believed. This critical stance echoes the stoic approach of constantly examining and questioning our beliefs to ensure they are rational and virtuous. Epictetus taught, do not be satisfied with appearances, examine everything with reason. The influence of Cartesian rationalism on modern science and philosophy. The impact of Cartesian rationalism on modern science and philosophy is immense. By emphasizing the importance of reason and logical deduction, Descartes helped shape the scientific method, which is based on formulating clear hypotheses, deducing testable predictions, and empirical verification. His analytical geometry, which combines algebra and geometry, opened new paths for mathematics and physics. In philosophy, 
Cartesian rationalism inspired many subsequent thinkers to explore and expand Descartes' ideas. Philosophers such as Spinoza and Leibniz developed complex systems of thought based on the primacy of reason. Descartes' legacy also influenced the Enlightenment, a movement that emphasized reason, science, and critique of tradition as paths to human progress. In short, Cartesian rationalism is a philosophical approach that values reason as the main tool for achieving knowledge. By criticizing authority and tradition, and seeking universal and immutable truths through logical deduction, Descartes not only transformed philosophy but also laid the foundation for the development of modern science. His emphasis on reason and clarity continues to inspire those who seek to understand the world in a deeper and more systematic way, reflecting the stoic principles of living according to reason and virtue. Descartes' Contributions to Mathematics, Science, and Optics René Descartes is widely recognized for his revolutionary contributions to several areas of knowledge, including mathematics, science, and optics. His innovations not only transformed these disciplines, but also established new standards of rigor and clarity that still influence modern scientific and philosophical thought. Let's explore some of his key achievements. Analytical geometry and the development of the Cartesian coordinate system. One of Descartes' most significant contributions to mathematics was the invention of analytic geometry, which he presented in his work, La Geometry, published in 1637. Analytical geometry united algebra and geometry in an innovative way, allowing geometric problems to be solved using algebraic methods. Descartes introduced the Cartesian coordinate system, which used a pair of perpendicular axes, X and Y, to represent points on the plane. This made it possible to accurately describe geometric figures and their properties through mathematical equations. This approach transformed mathematics by providing a new way to visualize and solve geometric and algebraic problems. The Cartesian coordinate system is fundamental in modern mathematics and is widely used in several areas, such as physics, engineering, and computing. The clarity and precision of Descartes' method reflect the stoic emphasis on reason and the search for universal truths. The application of the scientific method to the study of nature. Descartes also made significant contributions to the development of the scientific method. He believed that science should be based on clear, deducible principles derived from reason. In his work, Discourse on Method, Descartes proposed a set of rules to guide scientific investigation systematic doubt, analysis, synthesis, and complete enumeration. Descartes applied these principles to the study of nature, seeking to understand the physical world through fundamental laws and causes. His methodical and rational approach established new standards for scientific investigation, profoundly influencing the development of physics and biology. Just as the Stoics valued logic and clarity in understanding the world, Descartes applied these same values to scientific study, seeking knowledge that was clear, distinct, and certain. The discovery of the laws of refraction of light and the development of geometric optics. In the field of optics, Descartes made important discoveries that contributed to the development of geometric optics. He investigated the nature of light and formulated the laws of refraction, which describe how light changes direction when passing from one medium to another with a different density. His laws of refraction were published in his work, Dioptrics, in 1637, where he explained how light behaves when passing through lenses and interfaces of different materials. Descartes also made significant advances in understanding the propagation of light, proposing that light moves in straight lines and that its behavior can be described mathematically. He developed the theory of the camera obscura and performed experiments that helped explain the formation of images through lenses, contributing to the development of optical instruments such as telescopes and microscopes. These discoveries in optics not only advanced scientific knowledge, but also exemplified the application of the Cartesian method of analysis and deduction. Descartes' search for clear and rational explanations for natural phenomena reflected his commitment to reason and clarity, principles also central to Stoicism. René Descartes' contributions to mathematics, science, and optics not only revolutionized these disciplines, but also established a new standard of rigor and clarity in scientific thinking. His invention of analytical geometry and the Cartesian coordinate system transformed mathematics, while his application of the scientific method established new standards for scientific investigation. His discoveries in optics, including the laws of refraction of light, 
contributed significantly to the advancement of knowledge about light and vision. By applying reason and logic systematically, Descartes exemplified the Stoic search for truth and clear, distinct knowledge. His innovations continue to influence scientific and philosophical thought, demonstrating the lasting importance of his rationalist and methodical approach. Influence of Descartes on Modern Thought René Descartes, often hailed as the father of modern philosophy, left a profound and lasting impact not only on philosophy but also on science and Western culture. His revolutionary ideas fundamentally transformed the way we conceive of knowledge, truth, and reality, thus shaping the foundations of modern thought. In philosophy, Descartes is best known for his systematic and rationalist approach, which emphasized the importance of reason as a guide to true knowledge. His methodology of methodical doubt, exemplified in the famous, I think, therefore I am, instigated an epistemological revolution by calling into question all preconceived beliefs and demanding a solid and indubitable basis for knowledge. This approach not only influenced the development of modern epistemology, but also inspired generations of philosophers to explore the nature of knowledge and certainty. In the scientific field, Descartes promoted the use of the scientific method, which he himself applied to studies such as anatomy and optics. His emphasis on careful observation, controlled experimentation, and logical deduction established a model for scientific investigation that is still followed today. This systematic method not only contributed to significant advances in the natural sciences, but also solidified the importance of science as an endeavor based on empirical evidence and clear reasoning. Culturally, Descartes' ideas permeated the Enlightenment, an intellectual movement that defended the primacy of reason, individual freedom, and the emancipation of critical thinking. His Cartesian rationalism provided a philosophical basis for valuing human autonomy and criticizing established social and political structures, thus influencing the intellectual and political revolutions that shaped the modern world. In short, Descartes' influence on modern thought transcended the boundaries of philosophy and science, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire contemporary debates about the nature of knowledge, the limits of reason, and the role of science in society. His innovative approach and search for indubitable truth resonate with the intellectual and ethical challenges faced by humanity to this day. The Impact of Descartes' Ideas on Philosophy, Science, and Western Culture Descartes introduced a new, systematic approach to philosophy and science, based on methodical doubt and the primacy of reason. His insistence on questioning all accepted beliefs until something indubitable was found, resulted in the famous statement cogito, ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. This approach set a new standard of intellectual rigor that inspired generations of philosophers and scientists. In philosophy, Cartesian rationalism paved the way for a new era of thought that emphasized the ability of human reason to achieve truth. He challenged the authority of tradition and religion, promoting a view that knowledge should be built on clear, rational principles. This profoundly influenced subsequent philosophers such as Spinoza and Leibniz, who developed their own versions of rationalism. In science, Descartes' methodology influenced the development of the modern scientific method. His idea that the natural world could be understood through rational analysis and empirical experimentation was a landmark in the history of science. This approach helped promote a mechanistic view of the universe, where natural phenomena are explained in terms of physical laws. Culturally, Descartes helped shape the Western mindset by encouraging a critical and independent approach to knowledge. His rejection of the blind acceptance of authorities and traditions contributed to the development of a culture of questioning and investigation that is central to modernity. The Development of the Enlightenment and the Scientific Revolution Descartes played a crucial role in the development of the Enlightenment, an intellectual movement that dominated Europe in the 18th century and which emphasized reason, science, and progress. Enlightenment philosophers such as Voltaire and Diderot were deeply influenced by Descartes' emphasis on reason as the path to truth. They promoted ideas of freedom, equality, and progress based on rational knowledge, concepts that also find resonance in Stoicism, especially the valuing of reason and personal autonomy. The scientific revolution, which transformed the world in the 16th and 17th centuries, also owes a lot to Descartes. His method of logical analysis and deduction provided a solid foundation for the development of new scientific theories and experiments. 
scientists such as Isaac Newton were influenced by the Cartesian approach, using mathematics and empirical observation to formulate universal laws that describe the behavior of the natural world. The relevance of Cartesian thought for contemporary debates on knowledge, truth, and reality. Cartesian thinking remains relevant in contemporary debates about knowledge, truth, and reality. Questions about the nature of the mind, the relationship between mind and body, and the search for secure foundations for knowledge continue to be central to modern philosophy. In epistemology, Descartes' methodical doubt is still a crucial starting point for discussions about skepticism and the justification of knowledge. His ideas about the separation of mind and body, known as Cartesian dualism, continue to influence debates in the philosophy of mind and neuroscience. Descartes' rationalist approach also finds echoes in contemporary discussions about artificial intelligence and computing. The idea that the mind can be understood as a logical and mathematical system inspires research in artificial intelligence and cognitive modeling. Furthermore, Descartes' influence can be seen in debates about the objectivity and subjectivity of knowledge. His search for clear and distinct truths challenges postmodern notions of relativism and constructivism, insisting that reason can achieve universal truths. René Descartes, with his emphasis on reason and methodical doubt, profoundly transformed Western philosophy, science, and culture. His influence on the development of the Enlightenment and the scientific revolution established new standards of intellectual and scientific inquiry that continue to shape our world. The Cartesian principles of clarity, logical deduction, and the search for universal truths remain central in contemporary debates, reflecting an ongoing search for rational understanding and truth that is as valued by both Cartesian rationalism and Stoicism. Criticisms of Descartes' philosophy Despite his monumental contributions, René Descartes' philosophy was not exempt from criticism. Several philosophers, both contemporary and later, have raised significant objections to his ideas and methods. Let's explore some of these key criticisms. 1. Mind-Body Dualism one of the most persistent criticisms of Descartes' philosophy is directed at his mind-body dualism. Descartes postulated that the mind, residential cogitans, and the body, residential extenso, are two distinct substances, with different properties. This separation has created a philosophical problem known as the mind-body problem, which deals with how two very different substances can interact. Philosophers such as Gilbert Ryle have criticized this approach, referring to Cartesian dualism as a categorical error. Ryle argued that the mind should not be understood as a separate substance, but rather as a set of behavioral dispositions. This critique helped to inform the development of materialist and functionalist theories in the philosophy of mind, which seek to explain mental phenomena in terms of physical and biological processes. 2. The Basis of the Cogito Although cogito, ergo sum, is a fundamental starting point for Descartes. Some critics have questioned the validity and universality of this statement. The German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, for example, criticized the Cartesian assumption that the act of thinking necessarily implies a thinker. He argued that Descartes took the existence of the self for granted without sufficient justification. 3. The Reliability of Reason Descartes placed extraordinary trust in reason as a source of secure knowledge. However, empiricist philosophers such as John Locke and David Hume challenged this confidence, arguing that our entire understanding of the world is based on sensory experience, not reason alone. Hume, in particular, questioned the idea of causality and the deductive conclusions that Descartes derived from pure reason, suggesting that many of our rational beliefs are based on habits of thought rather than logically necessary truths. The Relationship Between Cartesian Rationalism and Other Philosophical Currents 1. Rationalism versus Empiricism Descartes' rationalism contrasts sharply with the empiricist current, which emphasizes the importance of sensory experience as the basis of knowledge. While Descartes believed that true knowledge derives from reason and logical deduction, empiricists such as Locke, Hume, and George Berkeley argued that all knowledge must be grounded in sensory experience. This dichotomy between rationalism and empiricism has become one of the central issues in modern philosophy. Immanuel Kant attempted to reconcile these two currents in his critical philosophy, arguing that while all knowledge begins with experience, 
it is not limited to it. Kant proposed that the mind has innate structures that shape our experience of the world, combining elements of rationalism and empiricism. 2. Rationalism and Idealism Cartesian rationalism also influenced the current of idealism, especially in the philosophy of Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz and later in George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel. Leibniz, as a rationalist, developed the idea of monads, fundamental units of perception, and stated that reality consists of a multiplicity of centers of consciousness that are interconnected by a rational principle. Hegel, in turn, advanced idealism into a dialectical system where reality is seen as the unfolding of an absolute idea. While Descartes saw reason as a means of achieving clear and distinct truths, Hegel saw rational development as a historical and dynamic process. 3. Rationalism and Existentialism Existentialism, represented by figures such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Martin Heidegger, can be seen as a reaction to Cartesian rationalism. Existentialists criticized Descartes' emphasis on abstract, universal reason, arguing that human existence is characterized by irrationality, anguish, and individual freedom. Sartre, in particular, challenged the Cartesian idea of a fixed human essence, proposing that existence precedes essence, and that human beings create their own meaning through their choices and actions. René Descartes left a profound and complex legacy that continues to inspire and challenge thinkers to this day. His ideas about the primacy of reason, mind-body duality, and the search for a secure foundation for knowledge laid the foundation for many subsequent philosophical debates. Criticisms of his philosophy, coming from different currents such as empiricism, materialism, and existentialism, show the vitality and continued relevance of his philosophical questions. The relationship between Cartesian rationalism and other philosophical currents illustrates the rich tapestry of Western thought, where ideas confront and transform each other, driving intellectual progress. Conclusion Throughout this video, we explore the life, contributions, and lasting legacy of René Descartes, a central figure in the history of philosophy and science. We begin by introducing Descartes, contextualizing his importance and the time in which he lived. We then discuss his search for a secure foundation for knowledge, emphasizing the problem of skepticism and the famous maxim, I think, therefore I am. We proceed to Cartesian rationalism, highlighting fundamental principles such as the primacy of reason, logical deduction, and the search for universal and immutable truths. We also address his critique of authority and tradition, as well as his influence on modern science and philosophy. We examine Descartes' contributions to mathematics, science, and optics, including analytical geometry, the scientific method, and the discovery of the laws of refraction of light. We also discuss criticisms of his philosophy, from mind-body dualism to the reliability of reason and the basis of the cogito. Finally, we analyze the relationship between Cartesian rationalism and other philosophical currents, such as empiricism, idealism, and existentialism, showing how their ideas were confronted and transformed over time. René Descartes, with his innovative and systematic approach, left an indelible mark on Western thought. His insistence on methodical doubt and rational clarity not only redefined philosophy, but also laid the foundation for the development of modern science. Through his contributions, Descartes taught us to question the world around us critically and to seek knowledge based on clear and logical principles. Descartes' legacy is evident in the lasting impact of his ideas about the mind, reason, and knowledge. His philosophy fostered a culture of constructive skepticism and rational inquiry that continues to influence contemporary debates in philosophy, science, and beyond. Descartes challenged established norms and paved the way for a new understanding of the world, aligning himself, in some ways, with the stoic ideals of clarity of thought and the search for truth. When we reflect on the importance of René Descartes, we recognize that his legacy goes beyond the borders of philosophy. He urges us to value reason and doubt as powerful tools for intellectual and personal progress. In the spirit of Stoicism, we can see in Descartes an example of how the relentless search for truth and the rejection of blind acceptance can lead us to a more enlightened and meaningful life. We hope this journey through the life and work of René Descartes has provided a deeper understanding of his impact and relevance. May his ideas continue to inspire us to question, 
explore and understand the world with a critical and open mind.